we talking some WBO flyweight championships. Championships. Good ass fight. Just got a boxing fan friendlier. Like I said, we're talking the WBO flyweight championship between Kusia Tanaka taking on Rossi uh, Rayo Uchi Taguchi. Moving up. He, he uh, Milan and Butler. Those are the fights of him we covered all right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. Like I said, within the year and a half, I got familiar with these two guys. This is going to be a good fight. It's going to be entertaining. H- happy for a lot of reasons for this fight, besides just two good fighters. These fighters is, to me, giving like the green light for the Japanese fighters to start their first phase. Because, you know... What I what I've uh, discovered again creating the WRT boxing show right here. Japan ends their year off with a bang. Japan boxing ends the year off with a bang, so their fighters like to get two to three good fights in, some maybe four, but at least two to three. And these guys are starting it off, so a lot of good Japanese fights should be following after these guys to stay within that the end of the year time frame. Now this fight, like I said, I started to show off with saying it just got fan friendlier. Maybe I just noticed it got fan friendlier. Referee Steve Willis. You know that motherfucker, he's a good referee. He's famous for his antics. But he's a good referee for this type of fight because I do think there's going to be some hitting in this fight. And Steve Willis knows how to break it up when he has to, but let these guys fight. He's pretty he's pretty much in the mix, pretty good. I like I like I like him besides his antics. I think he's a you know I think he's no nonsense. Now Ryoichi he has all the attributes but don't mean nothing because he, he gave it up against Butler as well. Butler you know, five six to five four and a half, sixty seven to sixty three and a half on reach. Me personally, I just you know even though Taguchi comes in with the one two combos, the one two three with the hook to the body, you know, I just don't think he's going to be able to have enough power on the back. Considering from what I've seen of him and his, if you're if you're a numbers guy. 27 and 3 with two draws with 12 knockouts, taking on Tanaka with 12 and 0 with seven knockouts. Taguchi might be a better inside fighter, might be than Tanaka, but he he can't stand there long enough because Tanaka is not a bad inside fighter. He, I think it's that if might you know, I I, I just don't think Taguchi. Taguchi has the power to back foot, back foot box him, keep him off, and to press him forward to to bully him for twelve rounds. I think Tanaka eventually is gonna get him to the body, wear him down, and I think he's gonna knock him out. I'd be surprised if Tanaka don't finish this guy. I, I could like I could see Taguchi going into survival mode, but. Just stand, stand alive on the back foot with the jab, and can and can Tanaka figure it out how to finish him off, how to uh, hunt down this wounded animal and end it. You know, that's that is the thing. You, you hear you hear a lot of people say about fighters. Oh, that guy's good at surviving. That guy's good at surviving. He knows how to survive. Maybe the other guy just doesn't know how to finish. You know. We give people a lot of credit. Like, oh, that guy has good foot movement, a oh, good jab. Oh, his body work is tremendous. But you know, he people survive on him. You know, maybe we. I think I do think Tanaka's gonna knock him out. I say about round nine or ten. I think he's gonna wear him down. But I'm interested to see that because I think it's gonna. I, I don't think Taguchi's gonna have the power to. To sit, unless he goes out on his shield, he'll sit there and try and bang with him towards the end of the fight. I think eventually Tanaka's uh, going to be inside him. 
hitting him to the body. That's gonna uh, he's gonna be countering the long jabs. You know, as the fact that he has the shorter arms, he's gonna be with right in that. He's gonna be with either too far out, and he's gonna be jumping in with the power shots, turning on angles, or he's gonna be a little le either on his chest or not quite mid range. You know, he's gonna be he's gonna be in close on him and just beating him up. And I think eventually it's gonna wear him down, and that's what I want to see. I think I think Taguchi's gonna go in survival mode, but will Tanaka be able to catch him before he goes in survival? Mode? I'm I'm saying he will in a tenth, but I won't be surprised if this goes to a de de decision. Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show, I'm saying and still WBO flyweight champion. Like I, said, I don't know if that move up his weight is the fact that he's older now 32 years old taking on a 23 year old you know it's going up 108 to 112 i don't know if that's body if that that weight's hard for him to cut now will he have more power or you know will, will he be able to take those punches who knows how like i said i don't know how these i don't know how four pounds affects fighters i don't know if these little guys be filling the four pounds say they do Will he – can he throw? Because to me, he's not the fastest puncher. He just – you know, he has that reach, and he keeps you at the end of it. And so I, I, I don't see how he's going to throw enough volume of punches to keep Tanaka off. Unless Tanaka is just not, not respecting him at all and just fucking – I'm going to force a knockout on you. Then he's going to be eating some shit up. We'll see what happens right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for your time and support.